Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Gamecast, episode 474. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Corey Feinstein. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. <laughs> welcome guys welcome <laughs> listeners viewers to 474 of the oh, gamecast mike. no mike i forgot to mention that last episode Whoops. i know i was like well. um mike's got family stuff you know he'll be on mm-hmm. next uh next uh, it's, episode. Uh, it's thanksgiving week so happy we'll be, thanksgiving we'll be, we'll be trading Corey for mike next week yes so <laughs> that's what we get right i think yep, so right yep. yeah, yeah so uh yeah so happy thanksgiving everybody um it's well if you're listening to this then if not you know whatever but um it is thanksgiving week it's black friday week which is the game sales um yeah a lot of them going on now too and a lot of going on now um i should probably look at like walmart i was gonna go to walmart for my sales like because there's a couple things i want to get there but Mm -hmm. i should whatever um but let's kick this off the way we usually do get get into what we've been up to um tony want to kick us off uh yeah so i played and beat pokemon oh my you beat the game (laughs) yeah cool um yeah i would say i I didn't really like um was it i didn't rush through it but i didn't really grind oh i grinded later hold on (laughs) let me get there i would say i did minimal like messing around and stuff so like optimal path not again not speed running or anything like that just kind of like you know having a good time but like not really doing whatever i'd say it's about you know um 16 hours or so which, okay. you know, it's fine. I didn't really want, like, a super in-depth long one. Uh, but the end game is, you know, obviously where a lot of the Pokemon mm-hmm. seriousness gets caught in place. So my first order of business was I'm going to grind out a shiny Charmander to get shiny Charizard because he's black like my heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for pe- for those of you who don't know, getting a shiny Pokemon is so, so, so rare. Um, and there's shit you can do to manipulate that a little bit. Um, including if you fill up the the Pokedex, you get a charm that doubles the uh, rate of appearance. And then if you breed them, so most of the time when you breed it, the Pokemon, you need two of the same species, but everybody just uses a Ditto because it's the slut of the Pokemon world because it just transforms (laughs) into whatever it wants. So if you get a Pokemon of um, another language, so like me, English, I got a Japanese Ditto or whatever, so that also increases the shiny rate appearance. So I was like, hell yeah, this is going to be great, right? I spent all day Sunday breeding a shiny Charmander. I hatched over 600 fucking Pokemon I eggs. Saw your, I saw your post, yeah. Did you? Oh my god, dude. I was so mad. Like, there's a point where I was like, okay, like this could take like maybe a couple hours, like three, four, whatever. And I'm watching stuff on, on Netflix that I don't have to super pay attention to or whatever like that. And just like talking to my brother or whatever like that. And there's this per- certain point where I'm just, like, starting to feel that despair of, like, this is never going to happen, and I should just quit. But then I was like, no, if I quit, then I just absolutely wasted this and have nothing to show for it. So then I'm getting back into, you know, like, all right, just, just got to do this. Got to do this, man. And then, a- again, the despair took over, and then I'm just like, whatever. And I was just, like, not paying attention at all. When it finally appeared on the screen, I didn't even believe it. I was just like <laughs> – I was like – are my eyes deceiving me? I was like, oh shit. And I like, like kind of jumped up and then I was like, ugh, like me, I was like, ugh, like this doesn't feel good. <laughs> so all, all day Sunday was spent trying to cat- breed one fucking shiny Charmander. And then to top it off, it's Ivies, which are, it's like special hidden, like stat boosts were like only okay. So I'm just like, it's not mm. even like a really good one. So I was just like, mm, yeah, but that's it. So you can enjoy the again. game. Yeah. Well, probably. We'll see. I- I'm giving it a little break for now because that kind of broke me. Okay. Yeah, no, I can understand that. I mean, obviously, you know me. I'm all about the looter shooter style Borderlands 3 stuff. I played a lot of Borderlands 3 this Did past you? week because right. I know I'm going to be um, going away and not be able to play. And the uh, Halloween event ends uh, next week. So I wanted to make sure I got the the last thing, which is a weapon skin that's dynamic it moves it's like ghosts and it's like they're floating around on your gun it's like you know i'm just gonna grind it out to get this because all i needed to do was beat the end boss you have to beat the end boss 25 times and i was like i just need to get like six more of these so i was gonna do that and yeah at some point just kind of like going through the motions you know i do this and like let me find the most optimal way to like do what I need to do, not even care about other stuff. And so, yeah, it's like that whole, I can understand 
Tony's idea. I was, I was listening to the book like <laughs> the whole time. I wasn't even. Like, I should have been doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I said sound <laughs> off at my audio like my audio book on, and I was just like, yep, I was gonna listen to this book, and like, cause like, you just so at some point you just kind of like don't even have to pay attention to what you're doing anymore, cause it's just automatically it's so, um, you know, automatic essentially. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so I finally got that out, and then the um, Maliwan takedown, which is basically a raid was released and so i was like you know i'm gonna try this they said it's they say it's designed for four people at max level it's like you know i'm gonna see how if it really how how is this really like do you need three other people or can you just solo and there's people have been doing it solo too but you know i was like all right i'm gonna just get in there and try it out and i got my ass kicked i was like there's no way i'm good enough to do this so like there's people that are doing it but there's no way i can do this and uh so i haven't beat it yet but uh that that's really neat to see some of these you know, free content drops that just add more stuff to the game. And this latest patch, like, was the best patch that they could have released because it's a looter shooter. It's a game that you're collecting, especially me. Like, I love collecting and hoarding things. <laughs> and they had a limit of 90 spaces for things. And their their whole thing is, like, bazillion guns. Like, we have a bazillion guns. But you can only keep 90 at a time. Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, Matt. Wow, that seems like... Well, I mean, right. that's a that's it's, a lot of guns, but it seems like so you yeah, can have seems... forty on your person, and then you can have fifty in your bank. So with this latest patch, they increased that fifty to three hundred. So that was like a huge boon for everybody. It's like, well, we just went like up to like, two hundred fifty spots, which is awesome. So it made okay. it much easier to yeah. uh, not have to worry about like what is this? Because like the whole idea is all these guns have different weapon parts, different stats, different like rolls on them so like, you're always trying to strive for that you know god roll weapon yeah, yeah. all right <clears throat> and they all have the different elements too so like i got a whole bunch of gun same gun with different elements on them just so i can have that in whatever you know situation i need so but yeah a lot of fun it's pretty cool it's funny because cool. like, there is a gun that's exclusive to this event too and i was i didn't get it at all and then the last six runs i was doing i got it seven times <laughs> so <laughs> wow yeah it was pretty crazy. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. All right. Um, yeah, for me, it's just Outer Worlds, which, you know, I didn't get to play too much, probably only a couple more hours more. Uh, I'm trying to finish that up before I get into Shenmue. Uh, but I I want to play Shenmue. Oh, by the way, I ordered that Shenmue because I'm like, my other one's unopened open still. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, I could probably, it's the holidays, I probably could just swap one at Walmart. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Uh, th- there's a Best Buy deal, for those wondering, with uh, Shenmue for 35 bucks with the steelbook mm-hmm. so i have that on its way uh and i'm trying to decide if i want to keep it or just cancel it i don't know what i want to do yet but for 35 bucks i'm like I'll, I'll snag that and then figure out what i'm going to do with the other shenmue um right. so you know but uh yeah so i'm gonna play that but that's about that's really it outer worlds working on that i really like that game i just wish that it was more poli- like polished and it just robust i guess is the best way yeah. to say it like just i want more and that's a good sign but i want more mm-hmm. that's all Mm-hmm. So, all right. Uh, let's get into the gaming news. Um, yeah, so we've got our topic, by the way, tonight is Black Friday deals. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, first thing is first, though, on the news, we talk about Amazon coming to uh, cloud gaming near you. Uh, these are EA's article, too. I'm sorry, I mentioned that here. They, have a, they expect a billion new players just from cloud gaming. I mean... <clears throat> No, I don't yeah. see how they get. I don't know. see it either. I don't well, see the new, like, is that, are you talking about like mobile shit too? Because then, sure. Cloud gaming specifically through mobile too. I yeah through mobile as well yeah but even then like specifically cloud gaming. Hmm. Billion, I, I billion know, I, I people or what? I don't know. Yeah. I don't see it. But so this is Amazon's ne- uh, service coming out next year um, with t- Twitch integra- uh, integration because they own Twitch. So that's kind hmm. of huge. Uh, but the problem right now is I believe we have another product on the market. I believe we do, uh, that is flopping miserably right now. And I think that's going to hurt a lot of these cloud gaming platforms. I really well, do. Let's just put it this way. No cloud gaming service has successfully, no, it has been successful. Yeah. Well, yeah, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do we have? 19,000 concurrent players with destiny two right now on Stadia. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I mean, that's just horrible. So the yeah. adoption. No, I mean, Schreier, I think, tweeted out saying, like, you can't play PvP because you can't find a match. Yep. Yeah. 
You can't put people. Yeah. Uh, and oh, and then the biggest thing about this, did you get, we didn't even report this last week for Stadia. I'm going to go to the Stadia rant. The, the news here is Amazon. Good for them. I don't know if there's a future here because I'm going to get into a Stadia rant. Stadia is running on medium PC settings. Did you guys hear about that? Nope. They promised you 4K. They promised you 1080p. They, they promised a lot that's not being delivered. These games are at the frame rate and a graphic quality of a medium st- medium PC, like a medium graphics card PC. Mm-hmm. They did the they did the tests, uh, and that is the equivalent. So uh, I'm stealing this from Giant Bomb's own words, but they actually have all of this stuff, and you know you never get 1080p on the stream ever. Uh, your frame rates are questionable. Um, there's lag input, and it's basically the you're running this on a super computer that you'll never be having your house, but it's running on a computer that you could have in your house. You're, it, the yeah. the settings are for a computer you have. In no, your I chart. I absolutely think this is this is beta right now. It's in beta. It's not. This should not have been a official release. This should have been a beta. They should have like just said hey, this is Early beta. Everything, or something, yeah. yeah, everything that they've mentioned. Like all these features have not are not there. Like your Wi-Fi controller is not a Wi-Fi controller. You're getting this medium p- level performance. I'm, I'm gonna read this. You it's, guys, um, just... it's pretty pathetic. Like they had an AMA and the whole thing was like a joke because they're saying, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Like, well, why release it? Why are you releasing this if it, if you're not gonna give us what you're telling us you're get, gonna give us? Uh, yeah, let me just. You got it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go on a tangent here. Um, because I have a gripe, I have a personal gripe with Google right now, um, just because of what they're doing for my setup at, at my at my office. Uh, so this is just for those wondering about Stadia and how their support will be, because if this is a beta, for the Corey's own words here. Uh, Hello, Google administrator. We're writing to let you know that Google Cloud Print, our cloud-based printing solution that has been in beta since 2010, will no longer be supported as of 2020, December 31st. Yeah. So it never, came out of, it never came out of beta. I mean, Gmail <laughs> took what? How long did Gmail stay in beta? So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the problem. And now, uh, granted, you're going to argue they, they supported cloud print for 10 years, but the adoption rate was slow because they never really pushed it. It never came out of beta. And will this ever get any better? I don't know. That's my point. Doesn't sound like, like it. Doesn't sound like it either. Like, uh, you can't, oh, and you have to wire your controller. It, it's not Wi Fi right now. That's the big feature they were talking about. You do have to wire your controller. Um, what is it? The uh, like there was a tweet, and I almost started. I did you see my on um, my Twitter when somebody like I, I don't know I got in some thread where people were raving about Stadia. And somebody tweeted about it. Oh, one of my friends retweeted it, and I I don't even know the person, and I got no response clearly because I don't know this person. But their statement was, "The future of gaming." No console needed. Stadia is amazing. And I'm like, but don't you have to spend... Didn't you buy a, like a Founders package where you had to buy a Chromecast Ultra and a controller and all this other stuff to make sure you play, be able to play it right now because it's not available on the browser like they were touting it was going to be available? So isn't it like $70 for the console plus you know, the, the $10 per month fee, which if you add that up, it costs more than a console? And I just went on this rant. It was like... Uh, I don't know. You know, I mean, that's the biggest thing for me is that, like, you're even if it was like perfect, if you got 1080p, let's say, no input lag, whatever, like you're getting all the stuff, you're still paying monthly for a service that could potentially just be turned off at any, you know, whim of some executive. It's like, well, let's just turn this off. We need to save money somewhere, so this is not going to happen anymore. And that, that to me is like the biggest de facto right now. It's just you're at the whim of Google, and then you then you spend all this money because you have to buy these games. You're spending all this money on games that you may may not be able to use in the future. Exactly, I mean that's the problem. Like, you could buy these games. You have first of all, you have to buy these games. Don't forget, they're sixty dollars, and uh, a lot of them on the store, and you don't own them for ten dollars a month. You, it's not like Netflix. Mm-hmm. I think that's the biggest shock for a lot of people. So, yeah. I mean, that's the thing is you've established this streaming service with uh, video content, movies and television, where it's kind of this all-in thing. Even Apple Arcade is like that, right? I mean, it's an all-in. You're, you're getting yeah. to play whatever you everything. want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so when it's you don't have that, that, that... platform, but yes, yeah. And like Game Pass, you know, Game Pass is doing that. Yeah. 
Uh, so I it's think like, Game Pass has ruined this for Google. I, I really do. If, if Game Pass didn't exist, you have nothing like out there right now that you can argue that's similar. But mm-hmm. all right. Speaking of Microsoft, uh, VR will not be a focus of the new um, Project Scarlet system, whatever they're going to call it. So you know, not shocking here because VR is not a platform that even Matt Piscatella came was on Twitter today talking about how it. There's no way to grow that platform because it's, you know, the, the, the platforms that grow are the ones that are based around interaction between, you know, social media, like ex- sharing with friends and, mul- you know, multi you know, multi uh, player, multiplayer stuff. And it's very hard to include that in a VR game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, and, that, and that, that's the right point. right I there. think, it's, yeah, I think VR has a lot of interesting applications, but uh, it's not in gaming right now necessarily. This is a lot of other things yeah. you could do with oh. it that I, I think that they could be successful in, but no one's cracked that code yet with gaming. So we'll see. Hopefully they yeah. someone does, but I don't know. It's not you can't be wearing a headset and like close yourself to the world though. That's the problem. No, that's it. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. So all right. Uh, this was fun. I thought there was a funny article that uh, I posted on here from uh, I, I was just browsing for news and I was browsing, browsing for movie news when I found this article man spends 1.4 million dollars on game character and later sold by a friend for 552 dollars what the fuck who does that so it wasn't even a friend it was like somebody he met online who sh- he shared his account with and well first of all who who spends 1.4 million dollars on a character on a gaming character the the MMORPG was uh, what was it called um, Justice okay. Justice Online is it some uh, like Asian China? It, yeah, it's a animal. China thing. It's a China thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he spent one point four million dollars to build up their character, and their friend who asked to borrow their character online logged in, like held their held their character at ransom to him for one hundred and thirty bucks. And when he you spent one point four million dollars on that character, and he wouldn't pay him one hundred and thirty two dollars to get his account back. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah. Then he, yeah, I know. Then he went and flipped it for five fifty two, five hundred and fifty. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? It's one of those things where. Huh? Um, it's just one of those things. I don't like. I don't know. I like why like, you're spending that much money. Like, don't give your password out to people. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Just one point. Oh my God! I I Jesus, that's a lot of money. All right. Uh, the Force, uh, Jedi Fallen Order. What do we got here? Uh, good sales? Yeah, really good sales. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Beating expectations. I mean, it's the fastest selling digital launch of any Star Wars game ever. Digital launch, yes. Uh, I saw that it, it it failed to beat out Battlefront 2. Yeah, I mean, I think but, the hype around Battlefront 2 is... But you're also talking about a single player single game. Single player game versus... Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, but it's quite impressive how well this game has been selling, though. They have to be happy with these numbers. I mean, it's and it's, it's EA, so they may not be. I mean, it's definitely. Yeah. You know, we were talking about it a little bit last week, but you know, we were worried a couple weeks ago. It came out, good reviews, and yeah, and it's canon too. It's apparently the story is pretty interesting. Yeah, I, I'm definitely like I want to get this uh, played so that when we have our of the years, I can kind of at least talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it, it's 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 it's. So, uh, a good surprise to have because I really thought this game was going to be really bad, but it's selling really a well. Surprise and, uh, to be sure, but a welcome yes, one. But a welcome one. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that keep, meme in there, keep man. Keep eyes on you with great interest. <laughs> it's um, yeah. So uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, Hideo Kojima tweeted out that his next game he went, plans on making would be a horror game. Nice. I find that you know interesting. What? I tried playing PT, and it yes. wouldn't. Oh, it wouldn't open. I'm like, what? what the heck? I can't play it. Did they, like, turn it off? I don't know. Like, it just won't load on my, my system. I don't know if you have that. If you have it, right, Tony? PT? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you ever you try to like, open it recently? Mm, no. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I, like, I just had to, up, I had to update my PlayStation. I'm like, oh, I wonder if that update, like, broke it or something. It's not one open. Huh. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. There's no I'll patch for that. You got, me, you got me worried, so. I know. I don't know. So I think like, we would have uh, heard about that more, but the problem is, is like you can't fix it. You can't uninstall nope. and reinstall it. So nope. I, the only thing is, I wonder if yeah, it's like I like the update 6.0 or whatever it was. I mean, wonder if that killed it. Are we happy with Kojima to do a horror game? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I would like to see it. 
Yeah, I mean, he does. He like his games have great horror elements. Obviously, yeah. uh, even the Metal Gear games, they have times where we're yeah. just like, "What the fuck is this?" And especially like with just how he loves to break the immersion stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I said, again, the Psycho Manus thing was crazy, and that's not even a horror game. Imagine that kind of shit happening in a horror game. Like, just nah, get the fuck out of here. Um, I mean, even the like early Death Stranding stuff seemed like heavy on horror. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, the whole concept, and yeah. weird, goopy black things just monsters and invisible shit going all over yeah yeah exactly so um yeah i mean be interesting but i I really personally just want him to just be quiet for a little bit and just work and i agree concentrate on that and we'll see how it goes and and don't be too weird yeah don't be too weird yeah so he'll get guillermo del toro to help him with this one you know that yeah whatever it's gonna be and it'll be and norm reese yeah he'll be attached uh, maybe he can actually, with the money he gets from this, buy the Silent Hill property because it's not going to be used anymore. Yeah. But uh, all right, Resident Evil Three remake. Now that two has been so successful this year, uh, the Capcom is going to be releasing Resident Evil Three uh, for 2020. That's the uh, the news here. Yeah. I mean, that was always that was low hanging fruit. Um, it's interesting that it's just coming to light. I'm wondering if it's going to get shown off the game yeah. awards. Because like the thing is. I mean, it makes sense they have the new engine. Um, and the thing is, Resident Evil 3 takes place for a bit in Raccoon City as well. So, like, if you're all you're doing those environments, it's like, hey, look, we could get extra use out of this. And I'm not I'm not saying that in a dickish way, but that's a good thing because it's like, honestly, that's one of my thing gripes with games these days. Like, you create all these assets, these levels, these renders, character model, whatever you want to call it. And it's just like, all right, well. Time to move on to the next game. Got to scrap all nope. this shit. It's like, like what? Like that's insane to me and stuff like that. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, looking forward to it. three is probably my favorite of the classics. So mm. I'm really looking forward to that one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, uh, two just sold so well. It's, it's mm-hmm. kind of it's kind of obvious. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, oh, I yeah. think they were working on this already right. in tandem. Right. Um, but I if, agree. if they weren't, then the sales absolutely were like, yeah, we need to get this. It was just confirmation. Like, it was yeah. like, oh, we could probably do three also. But then, like, it just, yeah, obviously we got to like, do three. Yeah. Like, I, 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 like Tony said, I, Game Awards, maybe. That might be where we see, like, a trailer for it. So, it makes sense. So, um, Cyberpunk 2077 is being reported to be shorter than The Witcher 3, which is a good thing for me. Uh, and much more replayable. That's the that's the big thing that they're saying. Uh, I mean, Mike is still playing Witcher Three, but uh, yeah. he loves. No, like, I mean, still selling really well too. <laughs> Witcher Three. So it's yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, it's funny. This, yeah, well, it's funny because CD Projekt they actually just had their financial results the other day, and they're like, oh yeah, sales are up uh, because of the see. Switch version. Witcher Three's main campaigns. Stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm like I'm freezing up like crazy. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. I hope I'm not gonna crash here. Um, am I on your side freezing up? Yes. Every now and then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm worried that I'm gonna crash, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, it took 51 hours to beat the campaign, uh, on average. So we're gonna be under that with with 2077. So I like that though. I'm like fine with a shorter campaign. Like I, you know, it doesn't have to be 100 hours. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. So. If it's much more replayable, anyways, that means multiple endings. I'm guessing. Yeah. So. And more. I mean, I, I would imagine more branching storylines to follow. Side stories and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So April 16th next year. Looking good. Look, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and that's it for news, right? Yeah, that's it. We have the we Black Friday about news. Alex, uh, right? Black Friday news. Black Friday special. We talked about Alex sure. last week. The um, Half Life. We didn't know the details yet. Right, we didn't know the so, details. Oh. So yeah, yes, good thing to talk. So about Alex, now. yeah, Alex was uh, announced officially, even though it leaked before, right. as we did our episode last week. Uh, Half Life, between one, one and two, right? Yeah, game? between one and two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so can't three. count to three. So can't count, count one. To three. Hey, one plus two is three. <laughs> but it's not one plus two. It's one point five. Yes, one point five times two is three. <laughs> <laughs> i'll get us to three no problem uh, yeah see. so but yeah um and it's obviously we know uh it's vr right yep yeah it's, it's in vr vr only, only. Yep. it's their vr platform uh i can't see them ever releasing this regularly 
because they're trying. If they do that, they just. But it is a full RPR. blown game, which yeah, you know, it's it's pretty amazing that this actually happened. So it, it is, and they're putting a lot of effort into this game, which is awesome to see. I just Alex as an A L Y X. Yes, yes. So I just wonder how it's going to be. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do for them. I mean, VR, like we said, is just not a platform that's going to. I don't see it growing. So mm-hmm. I just don't. But. So cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Black Friday specials, guys. Sales are happening already. Up the wazoo, uh, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you guys get your eyes on? Anything good? Really not. Really. I mean, so, I, I mean the thing is, for, for for us, we have consoles. So the consoles yeah. are pretty cheap right now. For like, did you mm-hmm. see the God of War, like Horizon Zero Dawn, and mm-hmm. The Last of Us Remastered for two hundred bucks, the Slim? That's a yeah. damn good deal. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's funny. It's like the only thing that I was thinking about is like if the PSVR was like $150 with Borderlands 2, I might have gotten it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but it's not, so I won't do that. Uh, you get a P- PS4 Pro with Spider-Man at uh for 289. That's yeah, on that's, crazy. that's on Google Shops. Uh, that's a good deal. Um, I think it's at Kohl's for not with $90 Kohl's cash. For three hundred, yeah, three hundred. Oh, okay. PS4 Pro. Yeah. Yep. See, I'm looking at like the VR is actually at two hundred bucks right now with like five games. You know, that's, don't do it. Don't do it. Dude. I'm not doing it. You've already done it, Jim. I've already done it. I've already jumped in. Yeah. I would. Spider-Man I'm not Game of the Year edition is fifteen dollars at Best Buy. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is very. That's exactly why I traded my base game in when I was yeah. high because I was like, I know Sony does this. They always do Game of the Year edition. And it's great. I'm not complaining. The, uh, it's just. Very you can bank on it, yeah. Uh, Google Shops again. Nintendo Switch Lite for one seventy five. You never see that stuff discounted. So. Holding that light is pretty nice. It say. is. <laughs> uh, I was in store the other day. I was like, oh, I was like, if I was pa- more passionate about the colors or there's a special edition mm-hmm. that I really cared for, I probably would cave in. Um, and- that Pokemon one came out, right? Just. Uh, only traveling like on a bus or something like that but, yeah. yeah the pokemon uh, one came out right it's yeah yeah, um, yeah yeah i like that they changed the button colors on that That's yeah cool. yeah, I, yeah i thought that was cool um there's an xbox um, one x one terabyte with jedi fallen order and uh 30 dollar best buy gift card with three months of oh, gold for you know, 350 I'm, su- I'm surprised oh. i haven't seen any deals on on jedi fallen order not yet yeah yeah i haven't either like, it, I know it's, it's you know, new, well. but, like, it's an EA game. So, like, I mean, I remember Titanfall 2 when that came out. It was, like, $30, you know, mm-hmm. for Black Friday or whatever. Like, that's, that's why right. I picked yeah. it up. Shenmue, um, baby. And it was all... <laughs> yeah, I know. It's Shenmue. <laughs> like a week but, later. Like, yeah. Like, if it was 30 or 40 I would pick it up right now, um, you know, because I've been hearing really good things about it from people that, you know, I trust, so. Yeah. And yeah, there's a um... new model with Luigi's Mansion 3 uh, and a 60, do- 60 gigabyte no, oh, oh, sorry. Using a code is three hundred dollars. New model with uh, Luigi Spencer. Yeah. Rakuten. Rakuten. I think Kohl's yeah. again has a really good deal where it's like hundred dollar Kohl's cash or ninety Kohl's cash or whatever. Yeah, I mean you're gonna shop back at Kohl's again. That's like. Mm-hmm. That's the oh way yeah, it's ninety Kohl's cash. Uh, it's three nineteen with ninety dollars. But, but you get like a case in like a, a dock. Joy-Con dock or something like that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean I um. If, those, if you haven't tried Game Pass yet, they get the three months for Game Pass for a dollar, like they normally do with Microsoft. Which uh, you can add on to your subscription that you currently have. Oh, nice. Wait. No, only so once. Only the one time. Only. Okay. Yeah. So. No, man, you can buy it for a dollar though, and you can add it to your. Is it controlled for like Game of the Year? One time, right? Oh, mm-hmm. again, controls still for Game of the Year, right? That's twenty-five bucks at Target. Control. Control. Oh, yeah. yeah. Borderlands Three is twenty-eight dollars at Best Buy. Uh, let's see. I'm just going through some games here. Breath of the Wild, thirty bucks at Walmart. Walmart's got some good sales on games. That's, uh, I mean, it's finally. <laughs> yeah, finally, Mario Odyssey. Down. Yeah, Mario, Mario Odyssey's thirty bucks. Mario Party's thirty bucks. Like, yeah, we Splatoon. dropped down a little low on the top twenty. Let's just bring that Breath of the Wild. Yeah, back. So let's, 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 just, let's bump that up a little bit. Don't want to leave that top twenty this year. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely cry five. Fifteen bucks at Best Buy, I guess. I don't know. You get that. There's also a great digital deals. Also, um, is there? I haven't gotten to look at a lot of those yet. I mean, the thing with the digital stuff is like they're always coming out with digital deals, and I say great, but I mean 
they're not much cheaper than the physical ones, but they're they're there if you want to go digital. So oh, cool. Uh, Kingdom Hearts three is fifteen bucks at uh, Best Buy. Cool. Mm, nice. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty. You're cheap. getting one. Like you're getting down an Xbox and Game Pass next year. Right? Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil two is fifteen dollars. That's at Best Buy. That's a good one. Um, I think uh, was it Days Gone is ten dollars at Walmart. I think ten dollars. I thought you said it was twenty bucks. Is it ten dollars or fifteen dollars? It's it not 20. twenty bucks. It's not. I thought. I thought it was fifteen dollars or twenty ten dollars. I'm sorry. Oh, no, fifteen dollars. That's. I'd be interested in that. I, I, had, a good thing I had a link. Where the hell did it go? It's gone. Hang on, I gotta look it up now. I, I can't remember what it was now. I'm like, for that price. I, I know was, you mentioned it was gonna be twenty dollars. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's twenty dollars, and I'm sorry. I might be thinking wrong. I'm sorry. So it's twenty bucks. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If I'm gonna jump into it for twenty bucks. Actually, now I think about. It. I was. I was very happy about that price, but I'm like, this is, isn't it like greatest hits now? No. It's just, oh, it's not, I thought it was gonna it be like a great. Came out this year. Came yeah. out in February or whatever. I thought it was. I'm a, sure it will be greatest hits in a few months, but. Yeah. No, twenty dollars is probably. Yeah. Twenty bucks is not bad then. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna look at their site. I mean, there's Walmart's got a whole bunch of games that you don't even know are on sale because they have like a stack of them for fifteen dollars status. Mm-hmm. They have eight dollars status. They have twenty dollars status. They have forty dollars status. But there's not, um. One year PlayStation Plus membership at CD Keys for forty bucks. It's uh forty five at Walmart right now for one year. Well, save five bucks. Go to CD yeah. Keys. Yeah, you can do that. Um, controllers are cheap. They're thirty nine bucks if you need a new controller yeah. for Xbox One. That's the thing. Is like, oh, these are cool. I love all the like the styles you can do for the Xbox controllers, but I'm never gonna use them because like, yeah, it's I, just so far yeah. superior. Yep. So I'm looking at these. Uh, yeah, Days Gone's twenty. Spider Man's fifteen. They're all on sale right now. You can buy them right now. Okay. That movie, the show's twenty bucks. This is all Walmart. Two nice. um, K, I think is gonna be. I wouldn't. First of all, W WWE Two K. Stay away from. Oh, I thought you meant NBA Two K. <laughs> no, no. Uh, stay away from WWE. 2, you know, uh, NBA is gonna be on sale as well. I think, but uh, I don't see it on this list. Huh? That's weird. So, hmm. but uh, WWE Two K. Don't buy it even at twenty eight dollars, please. Nope. Yeah. Make a statement. So, I don't know what anything. What else we have? Um, the systems are the big thing for a lot of people, and I'm not in the market for those. So yeah, I mean we're at the tail end. So yeah, definitely. Uh, my my. Oh, dude, I was gonna ask you, any headphones? Weren't you looking for headphones? Yeah, well, I wanted those um, uh, the Beats Power Beat Pros. The mm-hmm. smaller yeah. ones, right? Yeah, the, the yeah, true the, wireless. Yeah, the true wireless ones. Nobody has them on sale. Yeah. No. There's some um, those Sony's. Did you see those Sony's? They're like 230 though, but um, they're supposed to be really good, and oh, I the think J-Lab they're on par with sale, the Pro, the Apple really? Pro. The J, the J Lab uh, J buds are on it's sale. Better. Those are usually 70 bucks. They're 35 bucks for at Walmart. 34 dollars. I don't are like good. that. I don't, I don't like those. The Skull Candy ones are. Wait, there's the Skull Candy ones, right? They have those. Those are seventy five, but they're on sale too. They're twenty bucks off, I think. Those are nice too. Um, yeah, if I, I mean, obviously they know it's too early, but um, you know, obviously I would like to get the pros, the AirPods. What is this? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this here. Uh, Fallout Four game of the year. I mean, there's a bunch of Switch games, which is awesome. Crash for twenty bucks at Walmart. Walmart definitely has the most uh, in terms of video game sales. Uh, Fifteen dollar value stuff. You have you know Spider Man, Witcher Three, Grand Theft Auto Five, um, Assassin's Creed on Switch. I'm looking through this. Uh, Lego Villains is on sale for fifteen bucks on Switch. Hmm. Some 3DS games. Wow. Jesus. Uh, they have seven. They have, see, they have eight dollar movies. That's what it is. Walmart's got the Shazam for eight bucks. Venom for eight is eight dollars. Seven ninety six. Mm. So there's some good stuff there, and some bad stuff. There's X Men Dark Phoenix there. Mm. <laughs> yep. Can't pay me to take that. Nope. Nope. Um, MK11 is twenty five dollars. Diablo three for Switch is ten uh, twenty five dollars. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of like I want to get rid of Diablo three because uh, my <laughs> statement to my statement to Blizzard is I want to tr- get rid of Diablo three for Switch. Yep. So, I just you know, but you know, they just had the event for Overwatch with. I think it might still be going on too for like Mercy, and I'm like, mm-hmm. nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I'm Sorry. not doing any of this. 
the blizzard stuff right now hopefully that they'll be able to change but it's just like oh man i'm so um so disappointed i'm like even like it'd be cool to kind of wear my uh philly overwatch like lanyard in philly next week yeah. it's like do i want to do that i don't know yeah i feel like with overwatch <sighs> I feel with that at least like that's more Jeff Kaplan like you know saying. So, I right. mean no, and that's the thing is yeah. but it's like and but Diablo Diablo's not Blizzard by themselves. You know it's the same yeah. thing. It's like all these games are yeah. being developed by these individuals, and you have faces for these individuals like these games. Like obviously Jeff Kaplan's become a character, a celebrity in his own right. But it's like yeah, I don't want to not support these people because they, they they have these passions for these games and things like that. But same time it's like you're when while supporting them you are supporting the company that they yep. are you know fine so it's tough yep yeah all right uh there's like that's about it for like the uh marquee <clears throat> sales like i said there's a lot of games on sale at walmart the different tiers there's targets got stuff going on uh best buy has their own stuff um but i didn't see anything like you know screaming out to me at best buy oh uh, i so. did pick up some art books actually oh yeah well amazon yeah. i didn't i didn't look Am- at amazon Amazon had like a buy two get one um, book sale, and there were a bunch of game uh, art books that were part of the deal. So I got, I think, um, the Bayonetta two art book, the Dark Stalkers book, and the Dragon's Crown art book for like sixty nice. bucks. And they're all hardcover too. And I'm just like, yeah, mm, that's cool. nice. Yeah, nice. I got cool. the Borderlands three art book, but oh no, nice. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, I, I just assume. I just assume. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I think that's it for this episode of the uh, the Gamecast. Um, thanks for tuning in. We uh, hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, enjoy Black Friday as best you can uh, and the weekend. So we'll see you guys next week. Um, well, some of us, not Corey. But uh, we'll see you guys next week, most of us. And uh, we'll have some more news for you guys, another topic. Uh, tune in then. Thanks for tuning in. Write us podcast at all you can get. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow podcast at allgeek.net follow us on twitter all geek like us on facebook if you're watching this on youtube hit that subscribe button we appreciate it see you guys next week uh.